now I'm going to do a proper walk around of the Honda. Um, first impressions actually, the DCT does work amazingly well, but it feels strange not having a clutch in front of me uh, or a gear change lever. So it takes a while you to get used to. Clay country in Cornwall at the moment, so I'm going to do these twisty, windy roads and get back out onto the uh, dual carriageway and see what I can do with it. And I'll see if I can try and set up vlogging, but that may not be possible. <laughs> this is the old DCT gubbins down here, it's a bit ugly, really. The actual bike feels lovely and compact, LED all round headlights, narrow bars. Um, yeah, just a bit of a nice burble from the exhaust. We'll hear that in a second. Let's do that. Starting procedure, you've got to hold your hand on the brake. We're clear, mirrors look reasonable. Except for this one, can't see anything. Okay. Alright. We're on the Honda Rebel. Can you hear me? Okay, nice clear dashboard, 18 degrees centigrade. We got neutral, we got revs. Um, not all you need, basically. Just checking everything secure here. Some levers. That's your parking brake. Uh, and to remove it, you have to. There we go. So there's a bit of a faff with that, but I dare say you get used to it. So the seat here is very, very hard. People on the Kawasaki Vulcan Forum complain about the Kawasaki seat, but it's nothing compared to this. Right, let's, yep, reversing out, no problem. Easy to, even my fairly diminutive stature. Keep looking down for the gear change. Right, so, got brake on, put it to drive. Oh, we're in rain mode, don't want to be in rain mode. Standard. Go. 
Pegs are quite high actually, but that means plenty ground clearance. Plenty ground ground clearance. Okay, so we're on our way back now. Just flick round this, it's quite flickable. Yeah. Easy turn. Still having trouble finding the indicator. Hope some of this is recording. Anyway, so we've got enough of it. We'll have some footage. heavy views. It just feels smaller. It's still designed, handles really well, brakes really well, uh, any gripes are non existent seat and the fiddly mirrors. Um, suspension is a bit on the hard side, but I'm sure it's slightly adjustable. They probably adjust it to a harder setting than it would be sensible for me, then piggy back shocks, which is always good. Glass black with a nice little seat. Uh, the sparkle in it, that's it really because it's from the gear. Adds it to the rear end, so you can fit a backrest, you can fit, etc. Okay, that's it for now. I'd better go back and look at the jump in my car. Hopefully, I got something reasonable out of this altogether, although there was a bit of a minor accident at the uh, last roundabout. 